Doesn't look like there is. Wait, what is this? What? Try your try your luck to get a new special item? What the a cow, <laughs> cow gloves? Visit the medical room to change your appearance. You got a new item. Cow, we got cow gloves. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. I am so excited to jump into this today. We've played through the first jump on the last video. If you guys missed it, go check it out. It's basically just a linear uh, scenario. It just offers a linear story with action-packed gameplay. So it got me familiar with some of the controls. However, in today's episode is the start of something special. Custom game. I want to get into actual survival, and I think we're going to start on the star, star system here. There's a lot of other uh, locations, it looks like. Crashed Red Ship, Lone Survivor, Mars. Pretty cool. Star system, though. I think that's a planet kind of like Earth uh, or close to Earth where there's trees and there's different biomes on it. I think there's a desert biome and that kind of stuff. So uh, let's just call this Goodish Vils Bergstons. Okay, cool. And we're going to do survival. I, I could go into creative and that would give me the ability, I believe it's kind of like Minecraft creative mode where you can just have access to everything. But eh. we're going to do survival offline. I may, um, I may do public later or maybe even private i'm not sure yet auto save let's enable that advanced Ooh. oh i didn't even look into this so cargo ships and game scripts uh, we're not going to worry about any of this right now okay we're just going to go okay and we're going to hit start system start here we go so i have been doing some research <laughs> this game this is one of those kind of games that I didn't want to just jump into not knowing anything because I don't I don't feel like we would get anywhere. And I wanted to get somewhere today. And I'll talk about the objectives here in a minute. Um, I think we're going to start with the Earth-like drop pod. Definitely, it's a difficulty easy. Definitely want to get into uh, more difficult gameplay later in different locations. But I think, did we just double click on it? Here we go. All right, perfect. Let's do it. Ooh, V is third person. I learned that. Oh, we got some water over there. That's cool. And if we land on the side, we're going to have to reset this bad boy. I think F5 will do that. Yeah. Because I played... I have played offline for about a half hour just to get the basics down. And I didn't want to get too far into it without you guys. So actually, we may be just fine right here. Oh, don't bounce. Don't bounce. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, I am on board with this. Now, V, there we go. Perfect. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. So this is our little life pod right here, or, or our respawn pod. This is our battery, I believe. We can see there's um, three out of four, so we still got some charge left on that. This is our, what do they call this, survival kit? Yeah. Here's where we can hold down F. We can recharge our H2O, I believe. In our power and our health, kind of like the whole recharge thing. Um, don't know if we put anything in there or not, but over here, we've got our O2 and H2 generator. So I don't know exactly how these things are tied together, like how they're connected together, but I think you can pull from different inventories. It might be these pipes right here, but let's just get started. Um, G, right here. Actually, we don't even need the G. We have it on our hot bar down there. We have a welder, a grinder, a hand drill, and then some basic armor blocks. So I think first thing we need to do, let's go ahead and take a grinder and I I think we can do this. Here we go. So we can kind of get started right away getting some, what is it? Is it a G? No. No. I nailed it. These steel plates. Steel plates are used to build stuff. So if we G now, come into our build menu. Again, we don't need the G. It's already down there in my hotbar. Goodish. Come on, man. If we go four, we could build these blocks. I don't know if I want to build light or heavy. So let's look right here. We have light armor block. It requires 25 steel plates. The heavy armor. Oh, yeah. Okay. This requires metal grid. I don't think we can get into metal grid yet. So let's just stick with what we got. Okay. All right. So you guys, mistakes are going to be made, uh, just inevitably. Let's just let's just start right there. It looks like a perfect place. So just because I've done some research doesn't mean that uh, <laughs> I know everything about the game. I just didn't want to start. I just didn't want to start off with like absolutely nothing being accomplished. So 
Uh, I know we can put these down. We are using steel plates. We're going to need to maybe grind down more of this to get more steel plates. Because today, I want to get into the windmill. If that's even what it's called. I think, I think it's number seven. Wind turbine, yeah. Because we need power. That's kind of first thing we need. We need power. Because the battery on this bad boy, though it's full, it is going to run out. So we need to get some renewable source of power. It looks like we're kind of up in the mountains. Solar might not be a bad idea, but I think I'm going to start with the wind turbine. Because we're already kind of high up. Oh, there's a boulder over there? Cool. So we're just going to build this tower up and then uh, stick a wind turbine on there. So I guess let's go ahead and start with that. And then also we want to get into the uh, assembler as well as a refiner. We're going to try to get to those today. And I want to kind of keep this off here. If we hit X, we can start up our jetpack and be oriented all weird. Cool. Perfect. I don't really know how high to go. And it says we need more steel plates. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I think um, I think it's kind of like some of the old Minecraft FTB mods where uh, the wind turbines, they generate more power the higher up they are, right? Okay, that should be good right there. We are we're taking this thing down. Now, if we look somewhere on here, yeah, lower right. This component is at 100%. Um, you can take it down, landing gear. You see that functional line? I think if we drill down, like the overall thing is 91%, so it's still above the functional line. So this thing will still operate as is. So we need to be careful that we don't take it down below the functional in case we need to use it. I don't know if we're going to use that right now or not. Kind of first order business is getting this power online like we're talking about. And I'm not going to go up super high because I'm not entirely sure. I say that. Let's just, I mean, let's just do it, right? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's going to be... Um, oh, I think that's going to be fine. We're just, we're just going to go up. And we dropped that one. Perfect. I think that's good for now. So if we take a grinder, we can grind this down. We get some of the steel plating back. That is really good. Now, if we hit seven over on the right-hand side, it takes 30 interior plates. Oh, two computers, some girders, motor interior plates. So we can make those in the assembler i believe so i don't think we're going to be able to actually even get this thing placed let's go ahead and try it let's see if we can at least get it placed yeah it's not going to let us it needs interior plates so that's fine so the next order of business then is to start mining right i believe so now there was a boulder over here and i think that might be kind of cool to go jump right into a boulder the only problem i'm seeing right away and i'm not entirely sure I think if I start uh, mining this out or drilling this out, everything's going to kind of roll downhill and I don't want to lose it going off the edge. So I'm thinking maybe what if we create like a little uh, collector? Nope, that's that's wrong. Nope, that's wrong. Are we? We are. <laughs> OK, hold on. <laughs> OK, controls. There we go. If we do. Uh. There we go. We drilled. Okay, perfect. I think if we do this, we can kind of create like a little moat, right? A little catch, catching area. And I'm holding right mouse button on the drill. So holding right mouse button um, or using that mode, it just mines out the area. It doesn't collect any of the resources. And that's probably good. We are using power though. Oh, that's <laughs> that's really good. But if we, uh, if we use the left mouse button, then it actually drops the stone and everything that we want. So I think that's going to be good. We have a little area that this stuff is probably going to fall down and land inside there. So a little pro tip. I learned that actually myself when, <laughs> when I was testing this. So let's go and just start mining. We can dig into this now. We can hold down F as well. Holding down F will grab a lot of the materials. You can see our backpack down there is filling up as we drill. Pretty freaking sweet. And our inventory is getting full right away. Now, stone. Okay, we're almost full. Let me just tell you right here. And then this stuff is going to roll down and it's going to collect in there. Ooh, okay. We're, we're losing some of it. So maybe we should go down deeper right here. Yeah, maybe we should go deeper so it doesn't... I would just hate... I would hate to lose all this precious material, especially with it being iron. Okay, so let's come on back over this way, and I'm going to tell you guys 
the stone that we're gathering, I'll show you my inventory real quick. And I, I know everybody knows this already. I mean, I think everybody at this point has played this game. Um, oh, we're getting low on H2O, too. So if we come right here, I think, we can recharge it all. Yeah, there we go. See, everything recharged on the lower left. So stone, if we look, uh, not here. Where is my... Yeah, here. So we got stone and iron. So if we put stone in here and we come to production, uh, we can start producing ingots. We can click that and it gives us gravel, iron, nickel, and silicone. Now I think gravel and iron are like the most guaranteed and then nickel and uh, silicone are kind of like you can potentially get that. Let's see. It looks like, yeah. So not every single time it gives us one of these or maybe it does it's just not very much. Okay, so iron plates is something we needed. We also needed interior plates. Um, let's go ahead and check it real quick. If we do this, we have interior plates. We need 30, and we need two computer. So 30 interior. That's wrong. And two computers. So we can go ahead and start crafting this stuff up too. So production, we have computers. I think we needed two of those. And then 30 of these. I think if we hold control, it does 10 at a time. There we go. And then that's kind of what we do. We keep feeding it with stone but then also we can bring in the iron ore that's what i was going to show you are we full is that what's going on i think iron ore oh you know what we need we need the uh yeah we need a refiner to refine this okay probably don't want to get into that just yet then because that's just going to sit in our backpack okay okay we're learning we're learning so the refiner let's just look real quick if we g uh if we go refiner right here oh it's actually down here okay <laughs> six uh steel plate so 20 steel plates 10 computers motors and construction so we can make this already so maybe we, want, may, we may want to get into that actually let's uh let's come over here and let's uh production let's just let's just start making this because we can always get more stone and this game um I'm assuming we're going to need to get all of the stone, like everything. Yeah, like we already need more stone so we can start refining. So my goal in this episode today, like I said, is to get the uh, wind turbine, the assembler, refinery, and then get the survival kit moved over. Because I think we can... Let's see, is this stone? Stone? Going to try to not pick up iron just yet. We're already making mistakes. Ooh. Okay, thanks, Julie. Um, yeah, so I want to get some of these uh, basic machines online for this episode. So I don't know how long the episode's going to be. It's probably going to be, I don't know, maybe a little longer. We'll see. But if you guys like it, if you guys enjoy it, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, too. And then let me know, also, if you guys like this, if you want to see more of it. So it's such a fun game. There's so much to do. We're just scratching the surface of it. This is episode one of the survival so I'm really excited to get in and start uh, tinkering around and getting all creative with it. Okay, so this is making ingots. I think if we, I think we can do this. Yeah, now the first slot takes priority over the second slot. So this, okay, did we really only just make 10 of them? What? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and at least see if we can get this thing set. Um, so I'm kind of looking here. We have... Basic refiner. We have a port right here. So I'm thinking maybe... Let's see. Delete to rotate it right there. Perfect. One to get our welder. That's how we make things. And then over there on the right-hand side, uh, steel plate. We need more steel plates. We need all that stuff. Oh. Oh, weird. Steel plate 20. And at the very bottom, steel plate 100. So we need 120 overall. It's weird that they... Uh, Oh, it's weird that they they didn't combine them both together. I'm looking. There's one green and one's blue. I wonder what I wonder what that's about. All right, so I'm gonna do some more mining over here. I'm gonna call it mining. It's really just drilling. And then uh, yeah, we're gonna get some of the stuff starting to smelt up. And I'll be right back with you guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's exactly what I wanted. So I started thinking, you guys. <laughs> I started making this refinery, but we're we don't have power yet. So I'm not going to be able to power it just yet. It's just going to sit there. So I'm actually going to wait 
on that and it took me this long. The sun's starting to go down. It took me this long to figure that out. Um, production. So I think what we want to do then is continue working towards this guy. So the 30 interior plates, uh, we do not have. We have some construction compound and some steel plates. So interior plates, let's go ahead and focus on that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this kind of thing, you guys, it's going to take me a little bit. Interior plate. It's going to take me a little while, you guys, to get the hang of this for sure. So let's go and actually... I need this. Uh, let's cancel all that and let's get interior plates made. Oh, wait, they're right there. Okay, so I, I those are made. Computer? Let's look real quick. This is, uh, this is confusing in itself. Two computers. So we need 24 gir uh, girders and then 20 of those compounds. All right, so we need, what was it, 24 of these? So I think if we hit control, there's 24 right there. Okay, so we're making these bad boys up. There we go. And then we just got to keep the uh, the stone coming. And I accidentally picked up some of the iron. So our inventory is getting full, unfortunately. Uh, but it shouldn't be a problem. As soon as we... That's fine. As soon as we get this, uh, this wind turbine online, we should be able to then get this refinery going. And that's going to let us uh, refine or smelt this iron ore in our inventory that we can't use in this... Uh, what even is this? What are we working on right now? This is the survival kit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we have these. That's perfect. Let me see if I can at least place it. I think maybe we can. I hope we can. Right there. Oh, perfect. Yes. So then if we hit one to go to our welder, I think we can right click and that's components added to build planner. I'm not entirely sure what the build planner is just yet. We're going to figure all this out, you guys. Uh, motors. We need eight mo uh, motors now. I keep wanting to say mortars. Okay, so eight motors, which is this. Uh, we can just make ten of them. That's fine. Or nine of them. That's fine, too. <laughs> Alright. Orient ourselves. Here we go, you guys. And then we need... Uh, looks like we have everything except we need 17 more construction components. Okay. So do we have enough to get this done? 17. No. We'll keep 20 in there. Come back over here and grab our uh, stone. Our rocks and whatnot. Um, mm, 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 mm. I think I'm going to, I'm just going to drill this out. Because I think we can come on this side where there's not any iron and just get stone in our inventory. And then the rest of it, I'm so proud of this, you guys. Episode one, I am so proud of this right here. <laughs> I actually used my brain for once. That's kind of cool thing about the game. It's really going to make me think. So I like thinking. Here we go. Uh, right here. Let's go ahead and move this one over. Let's actually go ahead and move this over and get these guys built up. There we go. Big brain moves. There we go. That should be it. Let's do it. Uh, number one. Ooh. Ooh. Yes! We did it, you guys! We have power! Interior pl Oh, we need ten more interior plates. Now, it is... Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. We should probably be keeping an eye on that Fuel thing. Critical. Fuel. Yep, I got you. I got you. Thank you. Uh, we definitely need to be keeping an eye on our fuel. That's for sure. Um, what do we need? We needed interior plates. Ten more of them, I think, is what it was. Okay, so you can see that it's actually working. Now, it's not above... It's not 100%. It's above the functional line, so it works. Now, once these bad boys are done, we can come back over here. And I'm going to need to expand this out for sure. Let's go ahead and put everything that we can... In here right now. Oh, this bad boy's starting to starting to build up too. We need uh, 44 steel plates. Actually, no, we need more than that. So 10 computers, nine motors, and 20 construction. I'm not gonna remember any of this, you guys. This is the hardest part about the game so far is remembering <laughs> what I need. I don't even remember how many computers. It was 10. So 10 computers. Okay. And then. We just keep doing this. So I'm going to continue. I thought we were going to make some good headway. But then I, I started thinking while I was mining, I was like, wait a minute. We can't build the refiner just yet until we get power online. So we did get power online. 
So now I'm going to gather up more of this, and then I'll be right back with you guys. And we can start working on getting the refiner made, and then uh, some of the other cool stuff. The assembler and whatnot. So I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so I've been super busy working on this thing. Let's go ahead and grab these. These are our steel plates. They, these are still making the steel plates. We have a lot to make still, but we got our 10 computers, some motors, uh, and the construction. I can't remember what all it took. So let's actually take use some of our steel plates right now. Um, I want to make, is it going to be slope or ramp slope, right? Okay, yeah, right here. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy to replace our solar panel with it. And then if we page down, delete, home. Well, that's not confusing. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's just, <laughs> let's just stick that right there. There we go. And we can keep building on back this way. But at least now we can easily get up here. We don't have to keep flying using our jetpack and stuff. So let's start building this bad boy back up. We are over 50% on this guy. 60%. Nice. Still going to need steel plates. But it looks like everything else is good to go. So what would that say? Still need seven steel plates? No, just for that. That's weird that it does that. Steel plates are in two different places. That's really strange. Um, And already, you guys, this is taking forever. Unknown signal was detected. Whoa. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to have to go check that out. It's it's not too far away. We do have a jetpack. We'll have to make sure it's all charged up. I don't know what the unknown signal is. Oh, also, in case you guys haven't noticed yet, <laughs> I did I did turn grass off. Uh, because I remember seeing a video, and they were like, if you want to find ore, like iron and cobalt, that kind of stuff, then look for dark patches in the ground. We're not there yet. We're not at a place where we need cobalt just yet, but just for testing... I, uh, I turned the grass off just to see. So, we're still not there. Are, can we at least be functional? We can. So, we can get the other steel here in a minute. But I wanted to get this thing functional because I think now we can do... Yes, game changer. Look at that. So, we can just stick the ore directly in here. And I'm pretty sure it's going to do the stone too, right? and then we can just stick everything in there. And the stone is going to uh, just refine into iron right away, I think. But then the uh, the refinery allows us to stick the iron ore straight in there. This is perfect, you guys. Now, um, I haven't looked at our power consumption yet. Let's see. L, there we go. We have a light. So now, can we access this from both sides? We sure can. So now we can stick stone in here, right? And the stone, it is going to make gravel. And from what I understand, gravel does not have a purpose in the game other than just cluttering up your inventory. Like, why would you not add a purpose for gravel? I guess I don't, I don't understand that. Why have something that is a byproduct of smelting something down when uh, I'm hearing something? It sounds like rain, but I don't see any rain. Oh, no. Yeah, there it is. It's raining. I don't even know if you guys can see it. It's so subtle. And it's nighttime. Cool. Okay. I can't remember what I was going to say. I was rudely interrupted by the rain. I think we could store this stuff in here. We can. Nice. Okay. So, uh, since I can't remember what I was talking about. So, already we are two items checked off of our to-do list in today's episode. So, the, the wind turbine... And the refinery. Now, I want to look at getting the assembly. Is that what it's called? Assembler? Let's just search ass. There it is. Basic assembler. Right there. Is that down here? Dude, they put everything down in our slot for us already. Cool. Okay, perfect. Um, maybe this one. Uh, it's so hard to tell. Like, <laughs> I don't know. This is confusing. Here we go. Basic assembler. Let's go ahead and stick it right there. Now, I don't know. Oh, what do you what do you need? You need to steal plates. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if we put these things next to each other if they talk to each other. Like, they communicate between each other. And I don't know if we need that done. The, re the assembler and the refinery, I would assume that we would want those, like, connected, right? You guys, tell me if I'm wrong with this. I'm just thinking modded Minecraft. That's all I'm thinking right now. You stick storage next to, like, a furnace or an auto furnace. And it just pulls it in, it smelts out, and sticks it out through the through the pipes into the storage and then you can get the computers online so um that's kind of where my brain is 
with this. Um, we need to we need steel plates. So I'm sure uh, I'm going to be proven wrong here eventually. But until that time comes, I'm going to kind of keep playing with <laughs> Minecraft in mind, kind of. I mean, I know it's not Minecraft entirely. Jiminy freaking Christmas. Oh, my God. Okay. But for, uh, it helps me. It helps me understand kind of what's going on here. Uh, that's not that. Control panels. We need to look at that, too. I'm not entirely sure what all happens in the control panels. So, right now we're smelting this down. But we need to come over here to craft stuff. So, I'm very curious. Actually, I haven't tested this. Um, I know for a fact that if we take the grinder and we grind down the battery, we get everything back except the power cells. I don't think we can... I mean, we can make more power cells. I'd rather not do that. I know you guys are probably freaking out right now watching that. Oh, what... Is, I was... I kind of want to see how they have it hooked up here. Uh, this is the... I guess we... I don't know. I guess, I guess what I'm saying is I think we can grind th this down. Just grab everything out of there. And then we can just take it. I hope I'm, I hope I'm correct on this. And then we can just move it over, right? Okay. If that was really dumb, you guys, just forgive me. <laughs> We're going to have to build the base out more. I, but just out of curiosity, that was the... Oh, crap. What was that that we just grinded down? That was this, right? Survival kit? I think so. Oh, I hope it was a survival kit. Uh, yes, yes, survival kit. So, there was... I wish I could kind of see... Somewhere on here is the, the computer terminal, right? Let's go ahead and do this a little bit. No. There, there it is, right there. So, can we now just make this back up? Oh, I sure hope we can. Looks like we're gonna... Looks like we're missing, uh, steel plates. Story of my life. So... Oh, you know what? Crap on a freaking crap cracker. Um, we're gonna have to grind this down because we can't make steel plates because I just destroyed. <laughs> I just destroyed the uh, machine that we use to make steel plates in. So noob, but we gotta get this thing back online because we could die. Our power's low. I probably should have checked all that first. Uh, twenty steel plates. We need to ten. Perfect. So we're done then, right? Please, please, please. Yes. Oh my gosh. Now we can recharge everything here. But you know what? Huh. Um, maybe. Okay, hold on. Let me. We're, we're, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to do something different. Okay, so I think if we do it this way. And we have access to the screen as well as the the side. Because we need the side, I think. Actually, you know what? Now that I say that, we could have maybe just effed into it from there. K to open press K to open terminal. Let's just check real quick. Was that a mistake? No, that's uh and then that. I inventory. So I guess we could have hit I on it. I don't know. <laughs> I like hitting F. So we got this nice little uh, L right here and this is going to be great for refining stuff here taking it and then coming over here oh you guys don't hate me I know there's probably way more efficient ways to do this stuff uh, silicone we can stick in here right because we, we can use this stuff gravel I just wish it wasn't a thing okay so I think I think we're good to go now we have our life systems online we can always just hold this to recharge Oh, but it's not recharging a hydrogen now. Um, okay, so we're going to have to now take this down. Let's take this stuff out first because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it disappears when I grind it down. There we go. And we need to get this generator online. I'm thinking maybe we can stick it right here and maybe it'll connect let's see how do we stand this bad boy up home delete home like that delete turn it that way that way it's connected in 
to our survival kit. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, actually. Um, so we need all of the steel plates. So that can be done. <laughs> that Those can be made here. So let's just come here. Start making hundreds of these. While that is smelting, let's come over back this way and continue drilling. And this boulder, you guys, this boulder is lasting forever. Ow. Okay, nailed it. And 100% perfect. Our O2H2 generator is online. So if we just take this stuff and stick it back in here now. Does that... Let's see. I know it's going to refill our power, but does it refill our... It does. Offline. Oh, you guys, I think we're running into a bit of a power issue here. I mean, we do have three machines hooked up to this bad boy already. Okay, so we're going to need to look at getting another one of these guys online. Now, I don't know if we put them next to each other, if that's a thing, or if we need to kind of spread them out a little bit. I may want to... Huh. I'm wondering if... Out of curiosity, can I just attach to up here and will it fall? Let's just see. I'm just... I'm curious. If we put one, are you going to fall? Are you No, he connects. Okay, so we need more steel. So my, my thought process is to come out this way and then go up maybe a little bit higher. And I don't know if, uh, I don't know if this tower, this is obviously the conduit, right? These are just blocks. Or what are they? They're, they're like foundations, right? Floors? Or no, they are blocks. So this is like a conduit. So the full power would come through this. I don't know if there's like a, uh, a power max per tick. So it would be better to have two separate towers. That way both towers are getting the max ticks per second on the power. Or if we build out this way and come up and we put another wind turbine here. Like is it going to bottleneck because this is limited to only certain powers per second? I don't really know. That's stuff that, um, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have a clue. <laughs> but I'm curious to find out about. So if we take... This iron, stick it over here. Uh, we can continue making this steel pipe, which is what we need, or steel uh, stuff, whatever. And then we can continue bring this bad boy up, because we're almost done with the episode, you guys. Stick around. Fuel low. Oh my god! Oh my god! Get down! Fuel is low. Okay, so critical. Fuel is critical. Do we have enough? We do. Okay, perfect. So we found our first bottleneck. Um, I don't know how far away these guys have to be. And if there's like an integrity, like a structural integrity thing we need to be paying attention to. That's wrong. So this one I'm going to put just a little bit higher for whatever reason. I don't, I, I don't have a, a real reason why. Let's go ahead and grind this guy down to get that back. Come over here. Refuel. I wonder if there's a there's an updated or like an upgraded um, jetpack too, because this little guy, man, it's nice to have. But I'm just going back and forth all the time. Okay, so we need uh, more of everything. Perfect. Okay, and done. Perfect. So we can look right here. It says um, PCU five five. I'm not. Oh crap. Let's get down before we die. I'm not seeing where it has a power output on it. But now if we recharge, it doesn't go offline. Beautiful. I love it. So we did need two of those to run the assembler or the uh, refinery and the uh, survival kit. Do you guys see that lightning up there? That's really cool. Now this one seems like it's spinning a little bit faster. So maybe my assumption was correct. The higher I put it, the faster it spins. So the more power it outputs. That's pretty cool. So we should be good to go with that later. Now, this is just starting base, okay? We are not going to stay here forever. We're going to get into storage. We're going to get into rovers and ships and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, this is just kind of a functional, let's get everything starting to smelt up here. So I think what we want to do now is we have the refinery and this kit and the H2O stuff. Now, if we search ass again, basic assembler. If we page down basic assembler, yeah. I'm very curious though, like, does it have to be, huh, so we access it by the yellow 
parts here, right? Like, that's just where we access uh, this machine. So I'm wondering if we put it next to it, and we can always take these down. If we put it next to it, page down right here, is it, I don't know, is it going to access, be able to access this? I don't even really know what the assembler is, so we should probably figure that out first. What is that? Select the name of the block twice on your toolbar. Insert, delete. No, I've been doing that, okay? It's tell me how to rotate blocks. Good bot. I've already been doing that. I think the survival kit, it gives us the ability to create or, you know, produce some things. That's just these entry level things right here. My assumption is that the assembler would allow us to assemble more things. So we need construction components or compound, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, see, this is what I saw earlier. This unknown signal just falling from the sky. We never went over and checked it out, so we should probably go. What is it doing? Check it out real quick. Um, our power. Let's just go. Let's just go check. Why not? It's not that far away. Let's jetpack it up. Oh, I hope we have enough power and jetpack to get over. Oh, look, it's a parachute. Oh, it hasn't even landed yet. We beat it here. No way. Let's go ahead and hop on down. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. It's this. I was like, what's blipping at me? It's probably going to roll down the uh, the hill and we're going to lose it. Unknown signal. Is this going to explode on us? I don't even know what to expect here, you guys. I, we don't have a weapon yet. I think, we're, I think we can build weapons. And I'm pretty sure we can upgrade our tools, too. We'll look at that here in a little bit. He's going to roll down the hill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's going to despawn before we even get to it. Now, can we look at this thing? It doesn't look like... Can we stand in front of it? Oh, we can. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What is this? Cargo. Space credit. What? Power kit. What is a power kit? What are you doing, dude? Stop. Stop rolling around. What is, is there anything else we can click on here? Doesn't look like there is. Wait, what is this? What? Try your try your luck to get a new special item? What the? A cow, a cow gloves. Visit the medical room to change your appearance. You got a new item. Cow, we got cow gloves. I think that, that may be it. We could chop it up. For some of the steel plates. Um, but it's gone. We're we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna go back. So it says we can go to the medical something and change our appearance. That's not the uh survival kit, is it? Like medical is something completely different? Question mark? I don't I don't really know. Ow. So let's go ahead and charge everything up here. Let's see where we're at. What what was I working on? Um nothing. This guy. Here we go. Yeah, the assembler. So, can we get this guy functioning? No. We need 10 motors. No problem. We could do that real quick. 10 motors. That's going to become a thing. Awesome, you guys. Turn a light off. The sun is coming out. Also, look at the beauty of this game. We're just in the mountains. I didn't even pay attention to this earlier. I'm so, like, focused on what to do, where to start. But look at this. Snow-capped mountains over there. I don't know if we can go there or not. My assumption is we can go just about everywhere, right? But then up here we have planets and stars. And I know for a fact we can build a spaceship uh, that can get us up out of the atmosphere into space. And we can go and we can actually explore that. And we can mine out asteroids and all that kind of cool stuff. We are n <laughs> we're not there yet. But that's something I really want to get into at some point. Dis four displays. Really? We can check off everything I wanted to get accomplished in this first episode. I have no idea, idea how long it's going to be. And some things have come up IRL, so I've kind of walked away while some of this stuff has been smelting up. So, and I just kept the recording running. Here we go. But once I edit it down, we'll see. 80 computers. Oh, we, we're we not we're not ready at all. Oh my god, I thought like we're just about done. 80 computers. Okay, so if we go... Let's just make 100. Why not? Let's make 100 of them. We're going to need them for other stuff. So yeah, you guys, um, put down there in the comments any helpful tips you guys have, advice, and all that kind of cool stuff. I feel like I did pretty good for my first time in survival with you guys. Like I said, I did play previously before recording just to get the hang of, like, G, right? Like, figuring this out. If you're not familiar with this, and you, oh yeah, look, weapons. 
if you're not familiar with this, you click into this bad boy and it's like intimidating AF. So hand drill, enhanced hand drill. Oh, I don't know how we enhance stuff though. Okay, so we did a lot of new things today for me because I wanted to keep a lot of this pretty new, but I didn't want to come in so new that you guys, it was like a pain to watch. And I hope it wasn't a pain to watch. I hope I, hope I did pretty good on the first go. Uh, so you're not gonna, so it, it, that's interesting. It like once, oh no, it did use it. Okay, okay. I was gonna say it wants like everything up front before I can even put it on there. It looks like, no, it looks like we can add it as we go. 78, so we just need two more. Perfect. And there we go. We have it. Basic assembler. But yeah, put down there in the comments, you guys, if for any helpful tips you have this kind of looks like my gaming computer how these things talk to each other let's just look real quick basic assembler um click to consume a power kit click to oh this is a consumable oh so interior plates do they go in here they do not steel plates they do not show oh show connected inventories on ship or station so can i wonder what we put in here do we put our... No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what we put in here. Basic assembler. Uh, ingots? That's really strange. I don't know. Maybe... Through here? Wait, yeah. So we can't... Oh, that's weird. We can't click and drag from in inventory into another inventory, but we can see them. That's really strange. So we actually have to, like, what if we do this? And we stick all this in there. Does that unlock stuff? Space credits? I don't know what space credits do. Oh, production. Let's just look up here real quick. Oh, okay. So, oh, bulletproof glass. That's cool. Looks like we unlocked some new stuff. Computer's still the same, so we have some of the same components still. A de oh, I just crafted it. I didn't mean to craft that. A de detector. Okay, nailed it. Display, we've seen that, we've seen that. Large steel tube. I wonder if we craft this stuff up. Power cell? Ooh, we can make batteries. If we craft this stuff up, does it unlock more stuff for us to assemble, I wonder? Huh. So in the next episode, um, you know, we've got this down. I'm probably going to build another power thing, because when the, when the survival kit was going and the refiner was going... And I charged up my battery, or my backpack rather, my jetpack. Then uh, it showed offline again. So we got to figure out a good source of power. And I'm wondering, I may take this out and just build, build it down, drill down and connect it down here. I don't see how that's really different though. I don't know. I'm probably going to build out and put more on here. This is the kind of things that I'm, I'm going to have to like research. Oh, there's a, I didn't know there's an output on the top. Oh, interesting. And that's something else I got to figure out too. Like how storage works. Can we pull from different inventories? Because we can see the inventories here, but I can't click and drag between them, which is really strange. I feel like I should be able to do that. So I'm going to expand this out. I'm going to keep smelting down stuff to get prepared. Probably uh, increase my power, like I said. And in the next episode, you guys make sure that you uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And when you subscribe, you'll be notified the next video. Because I want to get into maybe a rover or... A little mining maybe a mining rover i don't really know i want to get in some kind of transportation with some storage on it so i don't have to keep jetpacking back and forth this boulder right here has been legit it's <laughs> it still has a lot of life left in it we're just filling up our little um a little overflow trough right here there's another unknown signal over there but eventually this guy's gonna go away we got to figure out where the best place is to dig because i have seen online look for dark spots in the terrain and that's going to be where like or is now is this a dark spot or is this a dark spot because they did come out with a new update so some of the uh, information from like 2014 2016 isn't going to be yeah i don't know if the information is going to be the same or not so um i'm probably going to drill down offline anyway to see what i can find so anyway you guys i appreciate you guys i love you guys thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today and uh yeah like i said let me know all the stuff and I can't wait to get deeper into this game. So I'll see you guys in the next one. This is The Goodish Gamer, signing out.